Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us for an inside look at Dunham's Investment Committee decisions and insights for the final quarter of 2024. As the global economy shifts, our investment committee has made some meaningful changes this quarter. Let's dive in. The big news is that the Federal Reserve made its first rate cut in over four years by half a percent and was larger than expected. The Fed now believes inflation has declined enough to justify lower rates and expects it to keep moving toward its 2% target. With inflation cooling, their focus has now turned to a weakening labor market, which may need a boost. While the investment committee acknowledges this, they remain cautious. They believe the market may be both overestimating how fast the Fed will cut rates and the economic and labor market risks ahead. This suggests more interest rate volatility could be in store, with quick reactions to the Fed's data-driven moves. Additionally, the committee agreed that the remainder of 2024 could bring increased volatility, especially in certain sectors, as we approach the highly polarized presidential election. Now let's take a closer look at their portfolio allocation decisions and insights. Starting with the Dunham Core Equity Strategy, the investment committee made key adjustments by reducing exposure to the Dunham Large Cap Value Fund and the Dunham Small Cap Growth Fund. These changes significantly impacted the Dunham Core U.S. portfolio, aligning with the committee's shift in focus toward areas they believe hold more potential. The committee believes that while U.S. markets continue to lead the pack, there may be greater upside in the oversold emerging market and global sectors. With the Federal Reserve cutting interest rates, foreign markets could benefit from this tailwind. As a result, the committee saw an opportunity to rotate out of large cap value and small cap growth, selling into strength and moving into undervalued foreign opportunities. Meanwhile, they maintained their exposure to small cap value, anticipating an attractive upside in the lower rate environment. In response to these adjustments, the committee increased allocations to the Dunham Emerging Market Stock Fund and the Dunham Dynamic Macro Fund. Both the Dunham Core Alternative Portfolio and the Dunham Core Foreign Portfolio were also impacted, with the latter seeing a shift from developed international to emerging market allocations. In summary, the investment committee rotated out of the Dunham Large Cap Value Fund and Small Cap Growth Fund and into the Dunham Emerging Market Stock Fund and Dynamic Macro Fund to capitalize on more potentially asymmetric opportunities. Meanwhile, regarding the Dunham Core Fixed Income Strategy, the investment committee strategically believes they have meaningfully extended into duration over the past 16 months in anticipation of potential Fed interest rate cuts. The committee also sought to leverage the favorable merger arbitrage spreads amidst heightened political scrutiny, therefore increasing allocation into the Dunham Monthly Distribution Fund. To balance this, they reduced exposure in both the Dunham International Bond Fund and Dunham High Yield Bond Fund. Overall, the investment committee is pleased with the balance between duration, yield, and credit risk in the current Dunham core fixed income strategy and believe that it offers attractive risk reward going forward. In contrast, the Dunham core fixed light portfolio saw only minor adjustments. We now invite you to view the following slides that showcase the latest allocations and changes in all Dunham portfolios. Learn more about our innovative overlay strategy Dunham DC, where we buy fear and sell greed. Contact our business development team for details on this revolutionary approach. From all of us at Dunham, we wish you a happy fourth quarter and the rest of your year. See you next quarter.